Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here in this video today. We're going to be talking about uh, some current Cloud9 players. Uh, maybe in the near future some former Cloud9 players and also maybe at some point in the future uh, some future TSM players. So it's a very, very spicy, very, very big ongoing story. You know, not a lot is done, not a lot is official yet, but um, definitely something very, very interesting to talk about. But first, uh, I want to ask if you guys could please check out the first link in the description below for my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. My plan is all 2022 to be making League of Legends content on YouTube and Twitch. That's what I did all of last year, just on YouTube. Next year, my big plan is to bring it to Twitch. Not just a rumor streamer. I want to be a streamer 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 so i'd appreciate your, your guys' support uh you know maybe drop a follow maybe drop a prime if it's that time of the month uh but with that being said let's get right into this so uh there have been a lot of depressing tsm roster rumors um there's been a lot of talks of obviously bjergsen leaving uh tsm striking out on a lot of big name free agents both resident players and uh eu you know imports and stuff like that you know a lot of players who could come to tsm maybe will come to tsm uh but then ultimately are probably not uh but there is you know potentially a big new story for tsm and that is uh vulcan uh, well, really a couple Cloud9 players first. You know, this tweet come from Apple that says Cloud9, Sven, Blabber, and Vulcan could all be on the market exploring options quite soon. Uh, the team has previously been rumored to be exploring options for an EU jungler, which would obviously mean Blabber would have to be out. And uh, that EU jungler at this point pretty much has to be inspired. There's not really any other big name EU junglers available. Um, and then it is also quite possible they're interested in Hansama, Reckless, and other big names on the market. Uh, you know, one of the names being thrown around to replace Vulcan would obviously be Mickey, um, and then to replace Sven, you know, maybe Hansama, maybe Reckless, uh, and then, yeah, Blabber, you know, would be replaced by Inspired if any of that works out, and obviously they can only have two imports, so it's not going to be all these guys, um, but they're just exploring a bunch of different options at this point. Um, he does say for support, it has been said they're looking for Mickey and other top support options if they're unable to secure an import jungler. Uh, Vulcan could very well stay, but all that depends on mid, and if they're going to be able to secure a native mid laner, namely Jensen or or Bjergsen. Again, uh, depending on who TL decides to go with between these two guys, the other one could likely be going to Cloud9, um, which would obviously give Cloud9 a resident mid laner, which would then allow them uh, to import at some other positions. Uh, Apple does say this is a situation with a lot of factors from multiple contract landscapes, so uh, it would vary until sign. Changes are expected to come from the organization. However, uh, any names associated is a gamble. It is a rich market with many organizations looking for mutual players. So yeah, you know, inspired, a ton of people are going to want him. It's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of just different offers going at him. There's going to be a lot of demand. Same thing with Mickey, same thing with Reckless, same thing with Han Sama. So just because Cloud9 wants these guys are showing interest or offering does not mean they're getting them at all. But it is very, very interesting at the least. Not so much that Sven could be on the market. Um, and we've talked about Blabber potentially being on the market for a while. He he had a pretty good year overall, you know, won an MVP, made it to Worlds, did pretty decently at Worlds, um, but he had some low moments as well. But Vulcan, being a resident support in North America, there is not a lot of high-level resident support talent going around. The fact that Vulcan is potentially on the market is a very, very big deal. Now, I know people are going to be like, oh, you know, Apple sucks or Apple posts fake rumors, blah, 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 whatever. Well, what is interesting is that, you know, a little bit later, Vulcan himself ends up tweeting out this picture of, you know, the old Vulcan working at McDonald's meme. You know, he's handing out a Happy Meal, Super Mario, getting some toys out, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, this could be hinting at, obviously, uh, Vulcan uh, having talked with Cloud9 and knowing that he is now potentially or even likely or maybe even officially not going to be returning to the team in 2022 now that is how i take it that is how i look at this and that is honestly what i do believe from this i am expecting vulcan to likely be replaced at this point um there is there is obviously people saying oh it's just a meme oh he's just trolling oh he's just farming twitter likes whatever and i totally get that you know if this is just a bait if this is just a meme whatever this would not be the first bait meme whatever to ever happen in league of legends twitter history it won't be the first it won't be the last but to me, this has a lot of energy, and I talked about this on my stream, of when Wonder got kicked from G2. You know, Wonder changed his name to unemployed top laner in solo queue. Um, you know, he started tweeting out a bunch of memes and stuff really just like this after obviously clearly having a conversation with Carlos um, and G2 and all those guys. 
And that ended up to be very, very true. You know, some people thought Wonder was memeing or joking or whatever at the time just because, you know, Wonder and G2 players like to joke a lot. Vulcan, Cloud9 players, they like to joke a lot. Uh, but to me, this doesn't read like a joke. This reads like, uh, hey guys, Cloud9 is maybe going to be replacing me. And that's crazy. And Vulcan's buyout is going to be insane. You know, Cloud9 bought Vulcan for what? 1.5 million over a million dollars from clutch and that was a couple years ago and since then vulcan has added to his resume he's a more experienced probably an overall better player yeah he's not as young as he once was but obviously still has a, a bright future ahead of him so it's probably a lot of years of his prime left uh and where's he gonna go TL already has core JJ. They're not going to be interested. Um, Evil Geniuses, maybe, you know, they're trying to throw some money around for him, a super team. I could see it possibly, but uh, it seems like EG hasn't really landed any major free agents at this point. So um, I don't know if they're going to spend on Vulcan, but they could. EG is definitely a realistic option. Uh, 100 Thieves, they have Huhi and FBI. I don't know if they're going to, you know, kick Huhi for Vulcan and spend all this money. Um, and then it comes to TSM, who I think is a legitimate option for Vulcan. TSM is in a weird spot. They have Huni and Spica. That's a fine top jung duo, um, but they have three spots that are very, very weak in resident North American talent, and they have none of those spots filled. TSM really needs to land a high-level resident player at either mid 80 carry or support. And right now, TSM, again, has none of those filled, has no good resident players in any of those positions, and um, there's not really a lot of those players hiding around. You know, maybe they can pick up tactical at 80 carry, and, you know, that would be fine. I'm in favor of that. But if Vulcan is on the market and you are TSM and you have this FTX money and you've been striking out on free agents and Bjergsen's leaving, yada, 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 I think you have to go very, very aggressively after Vulcan. And all of a sudden, if TSM is able to land Vulcan, I think they become a much more attractive spot for free agents to, for free agents to come, whether that's, you know, Reckless or Doggo or, um, you know, Humanoid or whoever. And then you have those two import slots to get a, a European 80 carry, get some crazy import mid laner, and all of a sudden, TSM's roster, even though they lost Bjergsen, even though things aren't looking good, even though they wasted all this money on Sword Art, even though loss sucked, yeah, 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 whatever, TSM could actually have a decent looking roster in 2022, despite, you know, at some points during this offseason, stuff looking pretty bleak, stuff looking pretty bad. I know somebody did a uh, comment on this tweet saying, yeah, right here, um, Huni Speak, a humanoid reckless Vulcan is a goaded roster, and I totally agree. I mean, that is actually a roster that would be very, very exciting, and actually a roster I would be very, very down to tune in and watch. Um, again, I don't know how likely this is. I don't know how possible this is, but this is definitely one of the rumors going around at this point that uh, not only is Vulcan on the market, not only is Vulcan potentially not returning to Cloud9 for 2022, um, but he could be on the move to TSM. They are a team that kind of checks all of the boxes. They have the money. Um, they have the need for uh, resident support. Um, but the one thing that does kind of throw a wrench in this whole situation is this meme itself. You know, the Vulcan McDonald's meme actually comes from him beefing on Twitter with Reggie. Um, so maybe Reggie, Vulcan, TSM, Vulcan don't have the best relationship in the world. So maybe he wouldn't want to come to TSM. But at the end of the day, business is business. Reggie reached out. He apologized. That's way in the past at this point. I think hopefully they should be moving on from that whole situation. Um, but I also, you know, if you if you believe that Vulcan would never come to TSM, I wouldn't argue with you too much. Um, and even if he doesn't come to TSM, either way, just Vulcan being on the market, potentially being off cloud nine and potentially ending up on another team for some crazy amount of money that's a very very big story that's a very very big deal and i can't wait to see what happens but that is pretty much it for this video today guys let me drop a like if you did enjoy it. i would appreciate it so so much leave a comment down below let me know where you think vulcan's gonna end up in 2022 i would love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions subscribe save today and all my latest content hope to catch you guys in the next one but until then peace